Um, so that's, but Dorita would be perfect, right? Well, and I mean, I'll be curious about your prediction because you did see the new cast for Real Hospice of New Jersey, right? And we, you've seen all the things of them filming and so Jackie is back. She's about a friend of trying to get to be a housewife. I don't think Jackie's going to be a housewife. I think these three new girls, there's so much going on that I have a feeling one or two, I one, I think maybe two of them will be housewives. And I think Jackie might still be a friend. That's just my prediction. Okay, but they haven't announced that, right? That's just like- No, and Jackie has said like, look, I'm filming. I'm going to do the same thing no matter what. Oh, speaking of, so I mean, Tamara being back, we're excited, Sarah, yes. I mean, I'm excited. Oh yeah, 100%. I love Tamara. I have to say with you, I think Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip was awesome. I feel like, like for me, it showed everybody in a different light. Like I told you, I loved Ava. For some reason- I, did, I was indifferent on Ava before because I think Atlanta is such a strong cast with so many characters, but I thought Ava really shined. Uh, I thought Tamara really shined. You know, Vicky was interesting. I, I, I feel like I liked the moment, even though I disagree with Vicky, of them talking about masks and having that discussion. Um, I, for me, and I told you this, but you feel opposite. Dorinda was actually the least interesting to me on that. I don't know. She just, it was like too possessive about the house and the, but it's, Maybe being a host was difficult. Um, and also, of course, our, I, I can't even remember the one from Beverly Hills, um, from Real Housewives. Taylor? Hospice. Taylor. Brandy? I like Taylor, but Taylor was forgettable for me. Brandy was awesome. You know, so they really shined, I thought, a lot of them on that series. Jill was great. So, um, Oh, you know, speaking I'm, I'm of which, speaking of which, I mean, this whole, like, Jill letting the cat out of the bag. Yes. I mean, Tamara basically says that she told production, I want to be the one to call Vicky because Vicky is the, you know, Vicky and I are very close. Vicky is not being asked back. I want Vicky to hear it from me. She calls Vicky, tells Vicky she's coming back to RHOC. And Vicky tells Jill Zarin, who then, you know, goes on and congrats, congratulates her or whatever. And then, of course, that yeah, a whole shit storm where Tamara says she bitched them both out. Well, let's just put some perspective on this for a minute. Now, I'm here in the Hamptons for the summer, of course. I was invited to this party. Now, I chose not to go. Well, I didn't choose not to go. I actually had somewhere else to be. But Joel Zarin has a annual party in the Hamptons, which is to raise money for um, whatever Bobby died of. I know he died of cancer, but I don't know exactly the type of cancer. What kind? Okay. So Joel Zarin has this thing. It's for charity. I was... You know, I, you know how I say I don't always like to hang out with housewives when I'm not working because I have other things to do. There was this event. Now, let's talk about who was. So I, I could have gone to this event, but I didn't. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I can't tell you firsthand stuff. I skipped it. But Miss Victoria Gumbelson was in the Hamptons. She was there. Bronwyn Wyndham Burke was in the Hamptons. She was there. Barbara Kay, if anyone cares, was there. The one, the only, Leanne Lockin was in the Hamptons. She was there. Um, Brooks, Carolyn Brooks from Dubai was there. So this was Housewives and Julia Hart from My, um, my Unorthodox okay. Life. So Jill, when Vicky told Jill, they were together in the Hamptons. Like this was the day of Jill's party. So when Jill was getting ready, going to the party, I mean, look, uh, innocent mistake or last minute promo to sell tickets for the party. That's where my mind goes. Because in the thing, Jill's, you know, look, uh, knowing Jill, having observed Jill, I do think Jill is like Vicky in a lot of ways that she is authentically just herself. This is when I realized when I apologized to her, which no one told me to do, I realized Jill is just herself. So I like that, right? Like she's, she might annoy you, but she's right. not, she's just Jill. That's really who yeah. she is. So yeah. part of me is like, she really didn't know what she was doing. And then part of me is like, she does mention this party. She does mention this party in this announcement. Right. It's like, girl, are you, you know, you're a walking QVC as we saw on Girls Trip. Like, was this a last minute attempt to buy a ticket, to sell tickets to your own party? I'm not sure. Sure feels like it, yeah. 
It yes. sure feels like it. And then, you know, right. She says, Vicky, cause Vicky hasn't officially said I'm upset. Although, so I mean, t- she, Jill's revealing like Vicky's upset about this, that Tamara's going back and she isn't. Then Tamara says, Jill Zarin, my response is go fuck yourself. That was literally her response. If you didn't see that. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. I know. oh no, no. She literally, she said, I have something to say. I have a, she said, I have a major, major announcement, a major announcement. Jill Zarin, go fuck yourself. That's exactly what she said. Jill said, let me work this out. They'll work it out. And then the whole, like, she didn't announce it. She was great with Vicky on Watch What Happens. They have such good chemistry, those two together, Jill and they Vicky. Do. They really do. And so, like, then, you know, she didn't announce it. And she came back the next night. She was like, you know, I didn't want to do it while Vicky was there. Look, I mean... That's sweet, right? That's sweet. here's the thing: we have never seen Tamara Judge on Housewives without Vicky. Even when Vicky was a friend of, she was there. Tamara has it's girls. Tamara without Vicky is going to be interesting, and they could not have brought them both back. There is no way. I think it'll it, be very good without. I think Tamara will do really well on her own. Yes. I think she'll hold her own. It'll be really great. Tamara is it's again. I stand corrected. I've never, I've never said anything bad about Tamara. Um, I just think that I forgot what a great housewife she is. So I think it's great that she's being back. This is what happened with Jill. We'll work it out. She didn't do it in front of Vicky, the way she came back the next day and took that orange. It's like, in a way it has more fanfare than Heather Dubrow returning. I mean, in a way this could be, I mean, Tamara gets it. I'm sure they're saying to her, listen, this is why we gave you the contract. You have to go in there and shake things up. You know what I mean? Like, I think they want her to come in guns a blazing and she will, she will, she will. She doesn't care about Heather. It's not going to be Noel. Like it's like, she's going to stand up to Heather when she has to, she'll stand up to Shannon. And here's the thing about Tamara too. Although I've had a lot of people on this podcast that disagree and say that she'll do anything to me. I find Tamara authentic also I find her she's very reactionary so when she's mad she'll scream and like so I think we're gonna get this up and down up and down up and down of Tamara right and I think I think this 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 could fix the OC maybe it's like if this doesn't do it this uh, to me this is it this is it guys there's nobody else. Listen, I agree. when you ask like am I shocked there's not one person they could have brought back from the past other than her now that Heather's back. Yeah, Yeah. Megan's great, but not like this. So it's like, I think this is the end. I would like to know, we we have a headline about Alexis. Is Alexis not coming back now? Mm. I I heard, heard. because look, we have five people. They're not doing a show with five people. They're they're still staying up at night about Real Housewives of New York. Who else is in? I've heard that they're bringing like maybe one or something friends of Tamara's. Like, look, if nobody likes Tamara, we have four people that are, oh, oh, yeah. oh geez. I, I've heard they're, they're casting it around Tamara. That's what I've heard. And like the two extra people are going to be her friends. That's what mm-hmm. I've heard. Juicy. And we all know how that works when you come on with real friends. Sometimes it works great. And sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, you know, these, these are no longer your friends. And whoever these thirsty bitches are that are Tamara's friends, they'll, they'll throw her in front of the moving orange bus just to get their own five minutes, so. Absolutely. Um, all right, David Yontif. Where Amazing. can everyone find you? They can find me, you know, I mean, out of everything, guys, yeah, Instagram, YouTube, just follow me on TikTok. I need the numbers, okay? It's cute there. I love TikTok. I only do TikTok. I don't really follow 